What's up, gamers? You're gonna need a snack while you're up late playing. Reviews from the tub. Reviews from the tub. Gonna review shit from my tub. All right, man. Welcome to the show. All right. Depending on when you watch this, this video may or may not be relevant. If I become wildly popular and people go back through my catalog and watch this six years from now, this video is going to be fucking stupid. But there's a strong chance it'll still be fucking stupid now. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, this coming Friday, which again, if you're watching this in the future, means fuck off. Uh, brand new game coming out, Cyberpunk 2077. This game has been in development since 2009. It's like the Chinese democracy of video games. It's been in development forever. Uh, my man at work actually has a pre-ordered on older systems that aren't even like relevant anymore. Look at this. Look, my hand looks 3D with this light. Oh, this, look! It's like I can reach out and touch you. Oh, behave. So, if you're going to be picking up this game and you're going to be playing all night like it's old school style which I plan to, and I'll be streaming a lot of this game because I'm excited for it. Uh, you can follow me over at Twitch at Reviews from the Tub. Do that. You're going to need a snack. Now, I can think of a handful of snacks that work very well with gaming, and I will be doing all those this week. First off, we're going to go with good old-fashioned cheese doodles. Now, you can't just have plain-ass cheese doodles. I mean, you could, and you probably will. But this is reviews from the tub. I can't just review plain ass cheese doodles. We got game day flavors, which I guess they mean like huck and chuck at football game day. But I'm talking cyberpunk game day. Seven layer dip style cheese doodles from the old hearse. Now, seven layer dip. Uh, let me see what we got here. Uh, refried beans. That means they're beans that were fried twice. A sour cream. Uh, I guess a meat, guacamole, uh, tomatoes, cheese, and avocado. They got this sprinkling of green onions on here. That, what, is that, they count that as a layer? You cheap asses. All right. All right, man. I don't know if you, any of you guys gamers out there, what are your favorite games? Uh, I think if I had a list of my favorite video games. Mike Tyson's punch out. I still never beat Iron Mike. So difficult. Remember when it was punch out and then Tyson got huge and it became Mike Tyson's punch out and then Mike Tyson went up to that hotel room with Robin Gibbons and allegedly beat the shit out of her I think was what happened. That was a long time ago. And then it just became punch out again. Super Mario World. Tremendous. The original Super Mario Brothers. Tremendous as well. Super Mario World with the addition of Yoshi. Man. All right. Enough about that. Let's, we'll get back to the rest of the top five in a minute. All right here. Look at this. Look at my ring light. Thank you to my step cousin in laws brothers for the ring light and these delicious snackaroos. Oh, my God. Now, y'all know I'm bad at this, so I'm, gonna, I'm really going to try I'm really trying here. You get hit. The initial. All right. Well, let me, let me start over. I'm going to let it sit in my mouth. The initial hit is almost like the cool and flavor of sour cream. Uh, and that breaks away into a taco seasoned beef. Now, I don't know nothing about no tomatoes or lettuce or guacamole, but obviously the cheese part is covered by the cheese doodles themselves. Ooh. I paid for, no, I didn't actually pay for these. But really, if you go, if you mixed up some nachos right now, what are you gonna put on it? You're gonna put cheese on it, some meat, and probably some sour cream. So, meat, cheese, sour, you only need three layer dip. But that is fucking tremendous. Oh my god. If you are a fan of the tacos and the Mexican food and nachos or seven layer dip, you gotta get down on these. I, you know what, man? I wanna say, uh, welcome to the Hall of Tens. Freaking amazing. 
Oh, man. All right. Now, what? A, you, can you do a whole series of games? The Legend of Zelda. The original? Man, it's been hours playing that. I just recently beat that by watching a YouTube video on how to beat it. That was the shit back in the day, boy. You gotta say Final Fantasy VII. One of my favorite role-playing games of all time. I did actually do a review of the remake of that. You can check out that review if you would like. It's pretty cool doing a video game review and I'm doing the voiceovers. Check that out. If you're new to the channel, check that out. I'll put a link in the description here. What are we going with number five, man? Pac-Man, Space Invaders, Tetris, Pokemon Go. Are cell phone games video games? I don't know. I got. I just love to eat dinner. I should probably not fuck with these anymore. These are amazing. And we'll get a new game. We'll go Red Dead Redemption Two. What a story! You get to be a cowboy. Uh, the whole time you're riding a horse, you just hum uh, "Old Town Road" to yourself. What a game! All right. I want to say that's it. We'll be back tomorrow with more snacks to eat or enjoy while you're playing your game we'll talk about keanu reeves movies uh that's it man i want to thank you guys for stopping by as always without you i'm just sitting here eating these cheese curls in the tub by myself which i would be completely fine with now i gotta clean all this shit up afterwards i got my fucking army of rubber duckies i gotta clean up i got the microphone here i gotta roll back up the never mind you don't want to hear about poor me this is my idea so anyway, man, be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch, because I will be streaming Cyberpunk 2077. At Reviews from the Tub, there was another part of that sentence. And as always, again, thank you guys. Catch you later. Oh, also the spiel about clicking like on this video. Did I say all that? I'm so enamored by these. So good.